Oh look, we're mowing hay again. Which is a good thing, because we need to feed our cows. So this is a big, big field, but it hasn't been cut at all this year because they, uh, the bobling birds nesting deep. Um, they, I think they might even get paid some people can get paid, some people just choose to let the hay come. So the bobolink, bobolink or whatever they call them, birds nest in the grass and that's where they have their babe, their fledglings. So um, I guess it's good other than it doesn't make that great of hay, but whatever. It's better than eating snow for the cows. So. We got first, second, and some third cut all in it at once. So we probably won't cut this field again this year, especially this year because it's so dry. I doubt it will come back. Maybe it still has most, you know, uh, it'd be like the first week of October that we'd want to cut it. Maybe in two months, or the first week of August. Maybe in two months it would come back, but it just, last couple years we haven't just because it hasn't done that but it'll be a good chunk of hay we'll get I don't know 40 50 bales out of it maybe we used to get like 80 bales off this field when we cut it a couple different times it was a lot healthier but the grass isn't too bad it's a lot of orchard and timothy and bed straw which isn't good and who else knows what's in there so I don't know is it is what it is and it's not all goldenrod so the cows will eat it and what they don't eat will throw around for bedding so it'll be good so that's what we're doing we bailed uh, i didn't get any bailing videos yesterday because we had to switch tractors i was bailing with an open station tractor or cab tractor it's got a hydraulic issue so we're uh trying to figure that out and it really was horrendous because i didn't have any AC. You know how us farmers are and how big a snowflakes we are, so no, I guess you wouldn't have been able to hear anything, so I didn't do any video, but we did, I think we made 50, 50 bales yesterday right around there, so we're getting to where we need to be, I don't know if we'll be all the way there, but um, we still have some other fields to do, so we'll see, better than nothing, as I said. Nice view, so this is part of the old bushy farm. Um, Wendell Bushy, Wayne Bushy, I forget their father's name, I should know it, uh, I can't, I'll think of it later, but that was, they had a milking barn right beyond that little, right beyond those trees right there, and this is one of their old fields, of course it's been sold off now, um, but again a small dairy farm, they've been out for quite a while, probably 30 years, so, or more. Um, yeah, I forget the grandfather's name. I should remember it, but I don't. But oh well.